Hi, I'm Ken Lobovi, and welcome to week two of the Football Recap. This cable cast is being brought to you through the courtesy of Adelphia Cable and is being sponsored in part by Washington Center of Physical Therapy, Central Heating and Plumbing, Shad Hannah's East, First Presbyterian Church, Joseph's Supermarket, and Mahoning Consumer Discount, and by Rainbow Custom Blinds and Draperies. We'll show you all the exciting action of this weekend's high school football games with Newcastle taking on Highlands, Shenango battling Mercer, Nishanix win over Leechburg, Laurel taking on Wilmington, and stay tuned. We'll take a look at Farrell taking on the Union Scotties when the football recap continues. Central Heating and Plumbing services the Newcastle, Elwood City, and Sharon Hermitage areas. Hi, I'm on in. Do you want to try it now? It works like new. Oh, thank you so much for coming out at such short notice. I really appreciate it. I'm glad I could be a help. When you need expert service, remember Central Heating and Plumbing. For the past 74 years, the words family and Joseph's Supermarket have been synonymous with value. Joseph's invites you to visit our downtown Newcastle or North City Plaza location and choose from a wide selection of fresh produce, quality USDA choice meats, and delicious baked goods, including Joseph's hot, fresh Italian bread. Come experience the Joseph's tradition and find out what value really means. If your physician recommends a rehabilitation program, Washington Center Physical Therapy has state-of-the-art equipment and a professional staff to ensure quality, personalized care. Washington Center Physical Therapy specializes in orthopedic, sports, and industrial injuries and provides isokinetic joint testing, extensive exercise equipment, back school programs, and functional capacity testing. Remember, for quality, personalized care, Washington Center Physical Therapy is the right choice. When you dine out, enjoy Newcastle's finest, Shad Hannah's East. Here you'll find an elegant atmosphere, affordable prices, and casual dress is always welcome. Shad Hannah's East features daily luncheon and dinner specials, in addition to serving the best slam on the rod in the continental USA. Join your friends for happy hour at Memories Cafe, Monday through Friday, from 5 to 7, where you can enjoy drink specials and free hors d'oeuvres. Shad Hannah's East, the best of both worlds in unique dining. Welcome back to the football recap. This past Friday night, the Union Scotties opened up their home season against the Farrell Steelers. However, it wasn't a happy ending for the Scotties. It was a home opener for the Scotties under new head coach Ron Plano, and it would take more than a prayer to pull out a victory this evening against the Farrell Steelers, who, uh, while well, they were going for the throat early in the football game, in fact, right here, on the opening kickoff coming up for the Steelers here it was an onside kick. Lou Falcone known to pull out all the stops as the Steelers recover the onside kick. And on the first play from scrimmage, Dwayne Johnson almost takes it all the way on the far sideline, is able to bring the ball inside the 10-yard line for the Steelers. And again, it would be Johnson, the ball carrier for Farrell, trying to strike early uh, against Union. But he stopped on this play. Now on the following play, it's number 44 again, Johnson. But he fumbles the ball as he's hit at the line of scrimmage. And the Scotties take over on offense. Following the fumble, it was the Scotties' turn on offense as uh, Robbie Nogue brings the Scotties out as uh, Union is able to bring the ball out to the 15-yard line. Now, believe it or not, the Scotties would pick up a first down on this drive, but the Steeler defense would prove to be too tough. The Scotties stopped right here. Now, that was Union's only first down until the fourth period of play as uh, Farrell just totally dominated this football game against Union. Uh, again, you'll see Johnson, uh, the ball carrier, ripping through the line of scrimmage, carrying it inside the five-yard line. Now, Corey Brody doesn't show any side effects of a knee injury from last year. He had surgery, but he cuts it upfield and scores 
the first of three touchdowns that he would score uh, against the Scotties. And the extra point uh, for uh, Farrell, one of the few things they didn't do well, they did miss that and let it six to nothing as you see it right there at the end of one. Again, the Steelers with the ball and driving. Now, junior quarterback Lamont Samuels pitches it to junior running back Dwayne Johnson. You think this team's loaded this year? Wait till next year. Johnson again scores. And uh, it looks like a feral highlight reel, but that's about exactly what it was as uh, the Steelers held Union to under 100 yards in total offense in this contest. Union uh, tries to move the football here. Uh, again, the, the feral defense trips up. The uh, Scotty running back, Farrell, with the many of its people back from last year, and the, they are uh, favored to win the Tri-County North. No gaze pass here falls incomplete. So the Scotties, unable to move the football, uh, will have to give it up via the punt, and it would be uh, Farrell taking over here on, in some good field position again. And in fact, uh, the Steelers get knocked down right there, 12 nothing. See the scoreboard, Farrell leads it. Now Lamont Samuels goes back to pass. The South Park quarterback completes it here on the near sideline, but it looked like he was out of bounds. They called the pass good, but it did uh, definitely look like he was out of bounds. One of the few times the Steelers were stopped in the football game, uh, a punt, and the Steelers down it right there. Uh, the Scotty's offense would take over again, but you see just how powerful that Farrell front line is. They've got some big kids back from last year and uh, it just won't be Union that'll prove to be no match for Farrell this year. A lot of other teams will find that out too as they keep on coming. The Steelers do. A no gaze pass there falls incomplete and the Scotties will have to give up the football punting and there he is Corey Brody and remember he is a very talented running back from last year. Brody is going to go all the way for the touchdown for Farrell. Number two Corey Brody, remember that name. You're going to hear a lot from that young man through the rest of the season. And the Steelers would go on to win it. Final score, 49-6. to Union, still looking for its first victory of the season, will host the 1-1 Mercer Mustangs at home on Friday night.